Now we're going to learn about how to call a function. So there are various types you can call a function. So functions are called by their names. If the function is without argument, it can be directly using its name. So but function with arguments can be called in two ways like call by value or call by reference. So we'll see the call by value and call by reference one by one. What does that mean? So we talk if you talk about call by value in call by value original value is not modified. It means separate memory blocks are created when you do call by value. Call by value means we're going to simply pass the argument and that is going to be passed to the function. So what I'm telling right now you'll understand better when I'll write code in the VS code. So you will understand better. So value being passed to the function is locally stored by the function parameter in stack memory location. So if you change the value of function parameter, it is changed for the current functions only. It will not change the value of variable inside the caller method such as main function. So that is what call by value means. So it means the value is never going to be modified. Original value will not get modified. So these are the two methods we pass call by value, call by reference. These are two methods we pass numbers to a function or arguments to a function, right? Next thing is going to be call by reference. So in call by reference, original value is modified because we pass reference. We pass by address. So this is we're going to see what does pass by reference or pass by address means both are the same thing. So here address of the value is passed in the function. So actual and formal arguments share the same address space. Hence value change inside the function is refined inside as well as outside the functions. So here no, one thing to note that to understand the call by reference you must have basic knowledge of pointers. So I will be explaining a bit about pointers there and we will understand pointers in the later part of the course in very details. Let's jump to the VS code and see call by value and call by reference in coding. So then there we will understand what I mean you know. Okay let's jump to the VS code and do some coding there. Here we are going to see the call by value first. For that I will create one program and we'll name it as 35 35 call by value dot c so here we're going to learn about the call by value for that i'll write again the header file hash include stdio dot h and i'll write the main function before writing the main function here we'll create one user defined function and there we want to define that so swapping of two numbers we want to do that so void for that i'll write void and i'll write swap function so i'll write swap name of the function is swap and parameters we are passing inside that is int x comma int y so these are the two parameters we are passing this is the function we created now we know the basic logic of swap function is we're going to use by using temporary variable by introducing temporary variable so i'll write one i'll declare one variable and name is that temp all right this declaration is done then what i'll do is temp is will be you know x will be assigned to temp and y value will be assigned to x so x equals to y and at the last m value will be assigned to y so this is the basic you know logic of swapping of two numbers swapping of two numbers means x has value let's say 10 y has value 20 now x will have 20 and y will have 10 so that is what swapping of two numbers right so we're going to see that thing by swapping of two numbers all right so this is the mean function is done now what i'll do is i'll write the main function here int main and in main function we will call the functions right call the swap function basically so here let's declare another variable a comma b i declare another variable a comma b and let's a initialize a with let's say right 10 
and initialize b with let's say 20 so what are you doing here here we're going to call that swap function so when i call that swap function a comma b so this is calling of swap function all right now here i'll write the print f here and i'll write percentage d again percentage d and i'll come out of it and write a comma b so these two variables we are printing so after swapping initially a has value 10 b has value 20 so a will be printed and b will also be printed and it will be swapped right but the main actual values a and b had which will have same values now here we are calling the function so from 15 line it will jump to line number 4 so when we write this so a value 10 will be value given to x and b value will be given that is 20 will be given to y and the swapping logic will work here so this is what pass by value basically so i'll hit ctrl s i'll click here i'll clear the code and i'll run it if you see values are printing 10 and 20 so what you can see in the main function while we call the swap function we pass two parameters that is a and b but these parameters are called actual parameters then swap function which is takes x and y parameters are called formal parameters right so when the main function is called the swap function the value x that is 10 and y to 20 are copied to x and y variables respectively right here the formal parameters are normal variables so takes the value as a swap function does not return anything so return type is void within the swap function we have implemented the logic to swap the values of x and y variables that x stores 10 and then y stores here 10 stores 10 then y store x stores 20 and then 10 values given to y that is 10 y stores 10 so here the formal parameters x and y are modified but actual parameters a b remains the same here x and y get modified but a and b always remains a equals to 10 b equals to 20 here x now become initially x was 10 y was 20 now after this application of this logic x become 20 and y become 10 so here the formal parameter x and y are modified but actual parameters are not actual parameters are a and b remains the same the swapping is done inside the variables of the swap function only which are reflected inside the actual parameters of the main function when the swap function completes its execution it comes back to the main function where it being called so it comes back to the line number 16 again after execution of this whole code then inside the main function it prints the value of a b you can see 10 and 20 on the console window so what you can see the actual parameters are not changed actual parameters 10 and 20 was there and it is printed in the same way after being the application of swap function also so this is what call by value is now we're going to see the call by address that is we're going to see the application of that so i'll do in the next video for that let's create another file and name it as 36 and i'll write call by address dot c so here we're going to see the call by address thing so for that what i'll write is again same thing hash include header file i'll write and and i'll same write i'll write the swapping function so i'll write void and swap function i'll to pass two parameters int star x and int 
star y if you didn't understand the pointers here i'll explain in detail in the latter part of the course so don't worry about that so here we'll declare int temp variable will apply the same logic and we'll write temp equals to star x then star x is going to be equals to star y and at the last star y is going to be equal to 10 this is how we use the swap logic okay this is done now we're going to do what we're going to implement the main function int main and inside this i'll write int a comma b two variables i declared a value will be initialized with 10 and b value will be initialized to 20 and i'll write the swap function and here we'll pass basically the address of a not direct values of a address of a and address of b okay now i'll write the print function here and what i'll do is now i'll print the values of a and b and we'll see what it is showing a comma b so this is done a whole code this is called by reference or called by address the formal parameters must be pointers and we have taken the formal point parameters to be pointers we have written star x star y these are pointers and actual parameter we passed here in the swap function as the address you can see that and this star is also called dereference you know if you want to know it this is also called the dereference dereference mean it is going to get to the address and what value stored there for that that is used so here star x is going to have the value 10 and star y is going to value as 20 because we are passing from here right and those values will going to be swapped right i'll hit ctrl s and i'll right click here run the code there is some error in our code we have written okay i got the error in the line number seven i didn't use semicolon i'll hit ctrl s i'll right click here run the code here you can see the see the values are changed 20 and 10 initially value were 10 and 20 now values got changed to 20 and 10 because we passed the address of a and b not a and b we passed so here you can see the values got swapped and it got reflected in the actual parameters also we changed in the formal parameters x and y are the formal parameters a and b are the actual parameters when you call by reference the actual parameters get changed this is what we talked about so if we want to know that what is that call by address is basically it is a concept of calling the function by sending address here you can see this is we are sending the address to the function we are passing to the function in call by address actual arguments are address type and formal arguments are the pointer type so actual arguments are address type and formal arguments are pointer type in a call by address if any modification occurs in the formal arguments then those changes will be in the actual arguments so here we can see swapping is happening so changes is change is also happening here also so this is what call by address is the call by address method of passing argument to a function copies the address of an argument into the formal parameters so inside the function the address is used to access the actual argument used in the call so this is all about call by reference is so we'll end it here and we'll move to the next topics